Angie Ramos, CBS2 News. Back to your first alert weather. Here's a live look at Grant Park. No official fireworks display in Chicago tonight, but plenty of suburbs will be putting on a patriotic show. Albert is here tracking the fireworks forecast for us. Albert. Erica, the good news is even though we have a few downpours, thunder and lightning on the radar right now, beyond sunset, we're going to be mainly dry, so the fireworks forecast still in good shape. We've been watching over the last hour a downpour in Kane County. That has faded away just in the last couple of minutes. Still dealing with the downpour near Naperville, moving off towards the east. A lot of action along the North Shore from near Waukegan to Lake Bluff still pouring in Highland Park right now in a new downpour in the last couple of minutes developing over Glencoe. Also a downpour moving into Evanston. None of this activity though along the North Shore producing cloud to ground lightning, but that certainly can happen over here over the next couple of minutes. Downtown's dry, south side looking good. We just have one little lone shower fading away around Chatham right now moving off towards the east. The reason for these little pop up showers and storms, we're just so hot and humid. 90 degrees right now in the city. It's 92 at Midway, 88 at Gary and King key right at the 90 degree mark in Joliet. But again, a lot of this activity on the radar driven by daytime heating. So beyond sunset, which is 830 tonight, we're in good shape. We'll be clearing things out by the nine o'clock hour. Clear skies 80 degrees at 10 o'clock. And as we head into tomorrow morning, it's a warm start 73 degrees with a clear sky. Here's what we're tracking for tomorrow. Another day in the 90s, a little bit more humidity, stagnant hot air mass allowing for elevated amounts of ozone pollution for tomorrow. So an air quality alert in effect all day Wednesday and then Wednesday afternoon around 4 p.m. until about 9 o'clock in the evening. That's the window for more widespread thunderstorms and some of these thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening could even be on the severe side. Overall, the main concern comes with thunderstorms producing straight line damaging winds and even some hail. Unlike what we saw on Sunday, the flash flood threat for tomorrow is super small, and so is the tornado threat, which is great news. So hour by hour forecast, there's that opportunity for an isolated shower or storm now till about 8, 830. We're quiet here later this evening into the overnight. Temperatures to start your Wednesday at 7 a.m. in the low to even mid 70s. And then with daytime heating late in the afternoon and a cold front coming in out of the west, that's when we'll start to see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms develop. That's 4 p.m. By 6 o'clock, models have been very consistent, wanted to bring some action on the Doppler radar right over Cook County, right over Chicago, and again, some of these coming in with some gusty winds and even some hail, but they are going to advance off to the east rather quickly. We think beyond 9 o'clock, other than some lingering showers, the severe weather threat will be over. So bottom line for tomorrow, a weather alert in place for that window of some severe storms, increasing thunderstorms after 4 p.m., decreasing after 9 o'clock, and those two main threats tomorrow, large hail and damaging winds. Here's a check of the extended forecast. That front will spill in some cooler air behind it, so we're looking at temperature to be in the 70s Thursday and Friday lingering chance of rain Thursday mainly dry partly cloudy on Friday low 80s this weekend with building opportunities for some widely scattered showers on Saturday more scattered in nature shower activity on Sunday and high temperatures remain in the low 80s Monday and Tuesday of next week so Erica tomorrow's 91 that's the hottest day for at least the next week Ooh, around here don't mind the 70s after these hot ones right though. me too thank you Albert